Drawing from observation is basically drawing what you see. Why would we want to learn how to draw what we see when we have photography, right? We're all walking around, we have the cameras in our pockets, we can instantly make imagery of anything we want with our camera. Why would we want to draw rather than use photography? Well, the answer to that is photography is not really seeing. Photography is making an image and the machine does it for you. When we observe things around us and make drawings of these things, we have to really see what is there. When you make a photograph, you don't always see what's there. So it's a, it's a difference in seeing versus looking. Uh, we go around uh, our daily life and we spend most of our time, time, you know, looking at things rather than seeing things. So looking, um, we walk through our environment and we might see a chair. And we don't spend a lot of time really seeing what that chair looks like. We put it in a category, oh, it's a chair. And we have thousands of things around us all day long. And if we sat there and really saw each of those things, we would never get anything done. And so we have evolved to look at things and um, put it in a category and move on. Um, what drawing is from observation is drawing what you see rather than what you know. So one, one way of looking at this is thinking about right brain thinking versus left brain thinking. So your, your right brain is the part of your thinking that is nonverbal, that is intuitive, that is feeling, that is, um, you know, works with patterns, works with pictures, works with like the whole, whereas your left brain is the verbal, rational part of your brain that deals with numbers and letters and words and labeling. And so the left side of our brain is not good at drawing what you see because it, it doesn't, it doesn't want, it doesn't care about what you see. It cares about putting it in a category and moving on to more important things. When we access our right brain, we are accessing that part of the brain that allows us to really see things, really understand things, and, and get to making great art and design because we understand what's around us and what's important. Um, I think my, my favorite example of this is the coffee mug. So you've got a coffee mug and your left brain knows what a coffee mug is, right? A coffee mug is flat on the bottom because it's got to sit on a surface, right? It's got a round top that's an opening so you can pour stuff in and out of, and it's got a handle on the side, right? That's what our left brain tells us about uh, a mug. But our right brain, if we really look at the mug and we look at it from whatever angle we're looking at it, wow, the, the bottom isn't necessarily flat in our drawing. The top isn't necessarily round and open in our drawing, and that mu and that handle isn't necessarily on the side. So um, when we are making our drawings in this class, we're going to try and access our right brain, maybe more than our left. We're still going to use our left when we go and we do measuring and and we rationalize things within our drawing. But we have to we have to access our nonverbal, intuitive. Um, feeling part of our brain. And I think that part of our brain in our world, um, it, it's helpful for us to access that more rather than less. We're, we're um, continually bombarded with imagery and numbers and, and all kinds of things. You know, we, we have constant access to media on our phones and the internet and sitting down 
And drawing from observation is an opportunity for us to truly understand things um, about our environment, um, about the things we're drawing, and ultimately about ourselves. And so that's what I see the value of drawing from observation.